Hey everybody, Chris from Six Wins here with Matt. And before we kick it off, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I hate doing that. It's so <laughs> cheesy, but it's just a reminder. <laughs> We got a big video coming up today. It's our final four of our best male actor bracket. We put all these matchups to votes, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, a little bit of Facebook, but here are the two matchups. So we have the number one seed, Leonardo DiCaprio versus, well, the other number one yep. seed, just from a different region, Tom Hanks. And then we have the number four seed, Yes! Robin Williams. <laughs> Robin Williams. Williams. No, I don't do okay. that. I don't think so. <laughs> yes. I'll try uh, one later, maybe. <laughs> Robin Williams versus the other number one seed, Robert De Niro. <laughs> so before we kick it off and give our thoughts on these matchups and these actors that are in these, these are banger, banger of actors. Mm -hmm. Actor bangers. They bang actors. Um, what I want to do, I want to play a little game. We like to start off with a little game. Feel free to play along if you're watching. So we got four actors. Leo, Hanks, Robin Williams, Robert De Niro. Matt, here's what I want to know. Okay. I want to know your top five movies that star any one of these actors. So we don't need a top five for each individually, just like the five total. overall. Five overall, your top five movies that star any of these actors, and they don't necessarily have to be the lead. Mm -hmm. So the floor is yours. Oh, right. right on. Okay, well, um, I know three off the. I know three off the bat um, because I, and these are all these aren't all movies I've seen in the theaters. My, my first one, these won't necessarily be in a ranking order, but I, I do think like Inception with uh, Leo. Uh, was was really good. Damn. Um, I saw it in theaters. I I ended up feeling like after I saw it, and everyone was like, "It's the best movie." I, then I was kind of like turned on. It was like it's a little overrated, but it is a really good movie. It's maybe slight. It was slightly elevated a bit, but I think we all have a pretty realistic view of it. So I'd go Inception. I would go Jumanji. <laughs> I think that's my favorite Robin Williams movie. Jumanji came out when I was like the per like the right age for it. It's, it's a board game and it had like some good comedy bits and stuff and some drama. It was like the perfect movie for like um, my age when it came out. So I love Jumanji. It's like a classic to, to me, <laughs> a good classic. I'm gonna go another Robin Williams movie, but he's not a lead. Death to Smoochie, and I've mentioned this before, because he's in it and it's an Edward Norton movie who should have been here. It should be Edward Norton versus, you know, Tom Hanks. Like, yeah. We talk about Death to Smoochie anyway. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Death to Smoochie. And I need two more. Um, I'm, I'm gonna give a couple honorable mentions. I'm gonna give honorable mention to Goodwill Hunting for Robin Williams. I know that's probably should be in an objective top five of what yeah. I've seen, and it's really good, but I just like other movies more. They, mm -hmm. They're more enjoyable, even though I know it's a higher quality. Yeah. I'll also give an honorable mention to... Castaway by Tom Hanks. I'm not going to put it in my top five, but Why I... Not? <laughs> Love Castaway! Because I'm gonna be weird. I'm gonna put Aladdin because I love the music. I love music. Robin Williams is the genie. I have a lot of Robin... This is my third Robin Williams movie. Uh -huh. um, but I, like, again, Castaway and Goodwill Hunting are better movies than Aladdin. But if somebody said, hey, you want to put on a movie, which of these three do you want to put on? More often than not, I'm gonna say Aladdin. Unless I'm really in that mood for like a serious movie and kind of want to like see something bad, I just want to just want to have a good time. Yeah. Just want Robin Williams to make me laugh, you know. Yeah. And then the last one, I'm gonna go with a real dark horse, weird one. Um, there is a movie Tom Hanks was in. Uh, it's a very long movie. It's called Cloud Atlas. It's a weird, that. sort of sci-fi-ish yeah. movie that takes place in a lot of different parts uh, or a lot of different settings. Um, in different times with like sort of the, the spiritually similar characters mm -hmm. um but yeah I, I went with a weird one since we've never brought that up and i really did enjoy it okay cool. bit too bit too artsy fartsy though if you're not into like some of some of that kind of avant-garde stuff it's not that avant-garde but it's it could be a little uh yeah just okay. that kind of high highbrow 
or at least passes itself off as hot rod. What would, you, what would be your top five? Sweet. So, one of your honorable mentions, Castaway, I think takes the cake for all four of these actors. Like, I love Castaway. Um, I would put Jumanji in there as well. Yeah. Shout out Robin Williams, my best friend, <laughs> best friend, favorite actor. He's so good on Whose Line Is It Anyway. His stand-up special is so awesome. Did you notice he just, you know, sweat all over the place and it was so hilarious. Um, clean comic too, right? <laughs> Very <laughs> clean. clean. <laughs> I've never heard him swear at anything. Um, so that's two. I'm going to actually throw out one that stars two of these actors. Catch Me If You Can. Okay. I like Catch Me If You Can. I'm gonna that's, throw, that's Hanks and Leo? Hanks and Leo, yeah. Uh, good good film. And I'm going to throw in Meet the Parents. Got a shout out to Nero. That's my favorite film that stars De Niro. Okay. And then I'll throw in some more, because like, we have another topic coming up before we really get to breaking these down. And then What the Hell. I'll take it. I'll throw Titanic in there, okay? Ooh, there Titanic go. is a great movie. They both could not have fit on a door, so shut your mouth if you've been trying to be the cool, quirky. They could have both fit on the door. It's an old, tired joke. They put it to science. You're wrong. They could not have. So those are my five. And then uh, the next question I have, and I'll start us off. I'll pass yeah. it over to you. I wanted to know three movies that star one of these four actors that you have never seen that you are going to actually add to your list and you're going to make a commitment to watch. Ooh. So here's mine. Uh, I'm going to throw Death to Smoochie on there. Never seen Death to Smoochie. It's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I uh, got to see it. Maybe it'll change my opinion on Robin Williams after I see Death to Smoochie. Who knows? Uh, second one are actually both Robert De Niro films and Let the Hate Come On because I talk about Robin De Robert De Niro without seeing these two movies. Taxi Driver. Mm. I've never seen it, but I've heard it's awesome. It's supposedly his best performance. And another one, Raging Bull. Mm. Never seen Raging Bull, never seen Taxi Driver, never seen Death of Smoochie. So I am making a commitment right here on camera that I watch those movies. Yeah. Sometime. Yeah. By the end of 2023, how about that? Okay, yeah, I think that's a good one. And whoever doesn't get to these three movies, if we remember, we, we look back, they can. If one of us does it, they will, it'll be like a new bet. A new bet? Thing. Like, okay. we might both get away with it. Doesn't have to be like, who watches them first? But yeah. like, if somebody doesn't live up to their commitment. We can pull out that bet card. Yeah. And if you haven't seen the bet, Matt lost the Denzel versus Carell bet. The footage is up there right now. He had a prank call a restaurant. And it wasn't really like a prank call, prank call, but we put him through the ringer. So and go we, check that out. And we put one other person that we called through the ringer to describe literally almost every menu on the item in great detail. <laughs> she was fantastic. Yes, <laughs> for sure. Uh, so what are your three? And then uh, we'll get into it. We got about, we're at about eight minutes now, so hopefully you're with us because we got a little ways to go. I'll, I'll keep it, I'll keep it going quick here. My first one's gonna be Shutter Island by, uh, mm. with Leo. I've mm -hmm. not seen Shutter Island. Uh, I have some family members who always told me I should watch it. I'd really like it. And when they said that, I was like, you don't know me. <laughs> I never wanted to watch it. But I, I, I'm, I'm also, I'm also still somewhat in the dark on the big twist, although I, I might have a guess like once I started watching it, because yeah. I'll probably remember things people mentioned. Mm -hmm. But Shutter Island with Leo, we talked about this one in a video when we were doing uh, Denzel and Hanks mm -hmm. matchup, Philadelphia. Because okay. I mentioned I don't think I had to watch that one uh, for a class, but I would really like to watch that one. Mm -hmm. um, and then my last one, I'm also going to throw a De Niro in there, because I didn't have De Niro in my top five. I'm gonna pick a third one that was a, a really good one by him. I'm not gonna, I might as well just clear three really big ones. I'm not gonna do Reggie Bull or Taxi Driver, okay. though I haven't seen those. I'm gonna do Deer Hunter. Yeah, do Deer Hunter. Um, and for two reasons, both sort of comedic. My favorite band is called The Deer Hunter, spelled differently, D-E-A-R. So then oh. there's, every time I like search for them every once in a while, I get clips or like soundtrack from the Deer Hunter movie. I'm like, no, I don't want that. And then there's a scene in It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, I think it's an outtake, okay. where it, um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's in, like the blooper reel. Mac and Charlie are talking, it's when like, de they're all being extras on a movie and they all think they're gonna get like these big movie roles, and <laughs> uh, Mac and Charlie are trying to come up with a movie or something, and they're talking about like, <laughs> Charlie's like, wants to make a time travel movie, and Mac's like, Name one good time travel movie, and like in one out outtake, he says, "Oh, Bill and Ted's," <laughs> and Matt laughs. And then another blooper, he goes, "Come on, Charlie, there's no good time travel movies. Name one time travel movie." He goes, "Deer Hunter," and Matt is like, "What? 
Deer Hunter? <laughs> yeah, because then we just like lose it there. So for those two reasons, I'll pick Deer Hunter. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of Deer Hunter, Deer Hunter, we want Sami Zayn in the main event at WrestleMania this oh. year. Oh, how was that? <laughs> That's a good one. Okay. Alrighty, well so, uh, but let's get to the uh, brass tacks, as they say. What does brass tacks mean? Oh man, I don't I mean, know. Like, let's get to the money talk. I don't know if it means I don't. Down to brass tacks. It might. I don't know if it means tax, like money, or if it means like thumbtacks. Oh, okay. Because you're getting down to like things. I think it might be like floorboards. Oh, okay. <laughs> like the very base and foundation, and like you gotta hammer uh, like brass tacks to keep them together, and you're getting down to the. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's such fair. that's such bullshit. That's I just fair. made that up. No, not that we're putzing around, but I had one extra thought on what yeah. you said. This is a disclaimer, public service announcement, if you will. I want everybody to stop spoiling movies and TV shows. And what I mean by that is what you said about Shutter Island. Like, someone probably told you along the way, like, you gotta see it just for the twist. Yeah. People think they're not spoiling by saying, I'm not gonna tell you what happens, but just wait. Even that kind of pisses me off because now I'm sitting there waiting for something. Stop telling me, oh, wait for the twist in episode three. It's like, okay, now I'm watching episode three and I'm waiting for the twist. Or like, I couldn't believe how hard I cried in the season finale. Well, now I know the tears are coming. <laughs> Anyways, we can cut that out or leave it in because some of you dinguses need to hear this. Yes. You know what another thing I hate is? <laughs> Posts that start off with, I don't know no I don't know who needs to hear this, but you are you matter. Or like oh. these like stupid self-help. Now that we've lost everybody who's watching this. <laughs> Hanks versus Leo. Did you have any thought on Hanks versus Leo? I I'm happy to see Hanks in the final four. I know when we were in our Elite Eight matchups and getting down to it, I kind of said Hanks out of the rest of them is, is the one guy that I think tests himself more than some of these other actors. I was pulling for Hanks. I, I, I did think Hanks had a good shot. I mean, they're both one seeds. I was kind of like, it's a 50-50 toss up. I, Leah's very popular, um, but I, I knew Hanks had a good chance to win. So I would, I would go with Hanks and uh, was excited to see how it was gonna go. Yeah, cool. I think, um, so I would prop, I was probably pulling for Leo more, even though I got not, I have zero bad things to say about him. Yeah. Um, I think Leo maybe had the tougher road to get to the final four. He had to, well, the Elite Eight, he had to overcome Bale, yeah. which is like, oh my gosh, Bale beat Daniel Day-Lewis, mm -hmm. but Tom Hanks, I think, had the, Maybe the toughest Elite Eight matchup against Denzel. Mm -hmm. I thought Denzel, even though he was a two seed, I thought Denzel could have taken the whole thing. But we did end up with Leo versus Hanks. For me, it was a toss up, uh, which reflected the voting. And I would say my prediction and who I was pulling for was Leo. Mm -hmm. Now, when it all was said and done, when all the votes were in, it was pretty close, but Tom Hanks did move on to the finals. Hanks into the finals. Yeah. So Hanks is the last remaining survivor of the left side of the bracket. Yeah. We take it on over to the right side of the bracket. Yeah. Robin Williams, who took down the likes of Michael Keaton. He took down Woody Harrelson. He took down Jack Nicholson. Mm -hmm. The one seed from this side, he took down Morgan Freeman. Yep. So he, so anytime we put someone up against them, we're like, oh, well, Mar Morgan Freeman's super likable. <laughs> he beat him. So he had to go on to face Robert De Niro, uh, who was the one seed from his side. So any thoughts on Robin versus Robert? Well, we, we talked about Robin a lot and how we thought his acting work might be a little overrated. You felt that especially. I, I kind of played devil's advocate and defended him a bit. And then you came around and now he's your favorite actor of all time. <laughs> yeah. From what I've heard. yeah. Um, but when we were both going over our top five movies, you had one De Niro with Meet the Parents um, where he's kind of, he's not a small role, but he's not like the protagonist, but he is there. I guess he's sort of almost the antagonist in a way. You would say so, yeah. Um, but just kind of the comedic foil. Um, but I didn't have any De Niro movies. So even though like De Niro is really high quality, it'd be hard for me to say that I probably wouldn't go Robin Williams, especially after, um, but I, I guess 
Yeah, I guess it, for me, it's not seeing enough De Niro movies to kind of step back and go, okay, I, I know what Robin Williams can do. Let me see some of De Niro's different roles and what he can do so I can make a more fair assessment of their acting, not just whose movies do I like better. Yeah. So right now, for me, it's like, well, I like Robin Williams' movies better, so I probably would have to vote for him. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I figured... I, I wasn't sure. Yeah. Like you said, we put Robin up against every, anybody, and he would win. Set him up. And so I was just up. like, he, he probably will win again, uh, just despite Chris. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I, I thought Robin Williams was going to win this one. Yeah, uh, it was close. It was toss up. I actually had some friends who caught wind of the fact that I was so anti Robin Williams that they started like, it was really cool. Brian, shout out Brian. He uh, was like getting people in there to vote for Robin Williams against like Morgan Freeman. Or maybe not against Morgan Freeman. I think he actually ended up voting Morgan, but in the three rounds prior. Uh, but De Niro didn't have an easy road either. De Niro no. did have to beat. Tom Cruise. Yeah. He, uh, I think, uh... Clint Eastwood, who was yeah. steamrolling in his matchup. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, that De Niro versus Clint Eastwood. Check out that video if you haven't. But that was... We had a really good turnout for that one. Because it was just, like, two generations clashing. Like, you think of just box office draws. You think of, like, Hollywood actors. De Niro and Clint Eastwood are going to be in the conversation every time. Yeah. They become almost, like, bigger than Hollywood themselves. They built their own brand kind of but anyways um i would vote robert de niro <laughs> again just like i've been voting against robert Lee exactly. each time. and in this particular matchup uh put him up to votes on all the socials robin rob rob somebody won Who's right one of the robs won robin williams Lost. Oh, he finally. Finally. Was beat. Robin Williams. Oh my God, the shirt is like suffocating me right now. I've tacked on a few pounds since vacation, but don't worry. Check out the Hulk Hogan video if you want to see a commitment I'm making right here on Six Wins. Anyways, we can cut this out. Um, so the finals. The finals. The finals. Tom Hanks. Yeah. Versus Robert De Niro. Who is the best actor? 